hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we are going to create a small game just like any hyper casual game and we will use uh, simple graphics so as you can see that i have a game running on my screen and uh, this is what we are going to uh, create in this series so uh, now uh, i am going to play this game and you will get the idea of what we are going to build so i am going to run it again so uh, now we're actually what we are doing here is we have our uh, simple cube and a bunch of tiles so we can do two things we can uh, do a small jump and we can do a big jump so uh, we will uh, going to build this game on android device and we will put the functionality of tapping so if you tap on the left hand side our player will do a small jump similarly if you are going to tap on the right hand side our player will do a big jump so as you can see that now uh, this tile is higher than this uh, tile so we are going to do a small jump because the height is not very much as compared to these two tiles so now if our player is here we are going to do a big jump similarly again this style and this style they have a uh, much more difference than these two tiles so we are going to again do a, a big jump so uh, let me create a simple project so i have added uh, created a 2d project and we are going to uh, start it from scratch so uh, now uh, after that i am going to create a 3d object a cube and i am going to uh, rename it qb so this will actually be our player and i am going to scale it down to 0 0.5 and uh, uh, i am going to create another cube 3d object and cube and uh, this will be our tiles and i am going to increase its size to something like 6 or 8 maybe just like that and uh, now we are going to rename it and call it tile now we are going to uh, duplicate it so uh, now later we will uh, generate these tiles at runtime but for now i am going to simply and uh, we are going to put it so let me change it to minus 4.5 and this to minus sorry minus 4 so we have a difference of 0 0.5 in height between uh, these two tiles and now i am going to uh, going on to my player and uh, since it is a 2d project so 3d colliders will not work so i am going to simply remove this and instead i am going to add a box collider 2d similarly on uh, both of our tiles we are going to remove the box collider and just add box collider 2d so now we are going to create or add a component called rigid body 2d since uh, we will put apply force to jump so that's why we need a rigid body 2d 
and uh, now I am going to create a new folder here called scripts and in that I am going to create a new C sharp script called QB Uh, so I am going to apply the script on our object player and I am going to open it inside my editor. Now uh, first thing uh, we need to do we are going to add a jump functionality to it. So I am going to grab the reference of a rigid body. So simply rigid body 2D and I am going to name it RB. Inside start, I am going to initialize it. So uh, now we are going to create a function. called jump so this will be public function and in here I am going to add some force to our layer so I am simply using the rb rigid body dot add force so uh, I have already calculated some values so I am going to create a new vector 2 here and I am simply going to apply the force on x axis by 9.8 into 12 and on y axis we are going to put 9.8 into 20. So uh, inside update, we are simply uh, now uh, for uh, we are simply now uh, map it to uh, keyboard keys, and later on we will uh, put it uh, put the tapping functionality. So I am simply going to say input dot get key down and key code dot space and we are going to call jump function now save it and go back and now we are going to play it so uh, if I hit space you can see that our cube jumped but it slipped away so we are going to fix it by using void on collision enter 2d function so uh, before that we are going to Put a tag on both of our tiles. So I am going to add a tag and just call it tile. Again, select both of these and simply add tile. Now inside collision. We will check if call dot game object dot tag equals tile. So if we are colliding with with tile, so uh, this will actually run when we jump and uh, launch on next cube. So uh, what we are going to do here 
simply rb dot velocity equals vector three dot zero. So let me play it again. So now you can see that we are having a collision here. So we are going to increase the distance. Now you can see that when it collides all the forces on our cube equals zero. So uh, now uh, there is another thing that we need to fix that uh, we need this cube in the center of next cube. So to do that we are going to here and in here we are setting the transform dot position that is the cube position equals new vector 3 and uh, we are going to simply on x axis we are going to grab the uh, position of the tile by using call dot game object dot transform dot position dot x and we are simply putting the y of our cube and z will also be the same so we only need the x position of the tile so uh, now you can see that uh, we will get the center point when we get our x position so now if i run it again our cube will center itself onto the tile now you can see that it has adjusted it onto the center so now we are going to add a large jump so what we are going to do is simply duplicate this tile and we are going to put it let's see so uh, this is on minus 4 and we are going to put this on minus 3.9 or minus 3 0.1 so now we are going to uh, change our jump function and add another variable so to detect whether we want to do a small jump or a large jump so I am simply going to create a bool variable called small jump and I will set it to true or maybe false doesn't matter so now inside our uh, jump function we are simply going to put our variable that is small jump so this will be bool 
so actually we don't need it here and we are going to check if small jump then we are going to do a small jump else we will do long jump so uh, now for now i am going to put true in here and we are going to map another key input dot get key down key code dot so i'm going to put a left arrow or right arrow for long jump and left arrow for small jump so we are going to again call the jump function and put false so now when we hit a left arrow we will do a small jump and on right arrow we will do a large jump so now uh, the distance between uh, uh, two of the uh, long tiles we are going to uh, do it in the next video and uh, i will show you how to do a long jump because uh, we are not going to simply add force to our long jump and also if you see that our cube is very slow it is going up very slow and coming down very slow so we are going to uh, see how to do a better jump uh, in 2d games just like a uh, famous game like mario if you uh, see mario the jump is very realistic so we are going to do the same functionality in our game